is not 2026 though. November 5th. Ty and I are back at it and uh, we're in a familiar spot that we've talked about quite a bit. We're in that secluded plot on uh, Area 52. Uh, this is our second hunt since uh, we had success and harvested chicken nugget back on the 30th and uh, it's been pretty tough going here for a little while. Last time we were out we had a dog that really ruined our hunt and made it pretty difficult. And then this morning, everything was going to plan, getting in early, and then I just had a heck of a time getting the cameraman set in this tree. It's such a large diameter tree that uh, I'm sure Ty was thinking at the bottom of the tree, just why didn't we just put up another cameraman set when we hung everything? And to be honest with you, I'm thinking about that right now too, so. We were pretty late getting set up this morning. It was daylight pretty much when we were set up. Where we're set up at, it could take a little while for deer to get back in here. This is deep into bedding. So if they're out in ag fields at night, this could be a good spot. And uh, historically, I've had some really good hunts. Two bucks that we're after back here are that buck I call Whopper and then Pretzel. Whopper's been MIA for a long time now. This is uh, where I expect to see him if we're gonna encounter him, so. We're gonna hunker down and try to be quiet for a little bit. I do got the rattling horns and the grunt call, but uh, once things settle down, we'll probably try to do a little calling. Beautiful morning.
nine o'clock right now and uh, it's been a pretty steady parade of deer this morning. What I had mentioned to Ty is that it always seems like when I've hunted back here the early morning is pretty slow but then that late morning and once you get into the morning a little bit it tends to pick up. We're smack dab in the middle of bedding right back here and uh, we're a little ways off of the big ag fields and stuff so a lot of times all these ridges they feed off those ag fields and down into this bottom and it takes them a little bit to get down in here after feeding throughout the night but we've seen quite a few does and then uh i didn't really get a really great look at that buck you know i'm not sure how much footage ty got of him heck he's probably within 80 or 90 yards of where we're at but uh it looked like it was either a big three-year-old or a four-year-old is what it looked like good morning so far hasn't been much uh, activity or response to rattling or grunting or anything like that. We'll see how this wind holds up for a little while. I never really anticipated hunting this set on a southeast wind like it is because right now we're giving up some of this out in front of me. But uh, this is the time of the year where you need to be logging as many hours as you can. We do have a few rations in the bag so we're going to sit it out as long as we can and just see what kind of deer activity we see this morning. And uh, who knows, maybe something will happen yet this morning. It's 10 o'clock now and Ty and I are gonna start packing up. Pretty good hunt this morning. Haven't seen much activity in a little while now. We saw that, I did get a good look at that buck and uh, it looked like a good three-year-old, but uh, I actually think that we had a better buck that came in downwind of us and I'm not sure if he winded us or not, but I mean, I saw him, he's walking towards us and then he saw him running away. He also could have been chasing a doe, but uh, this wind's making me nervous. And then the other side of that too, is that my neighbors are actually on their property right now and they're making some adjustments to cameras. And I'm thinking it's probably the universe just telling me like, let's just go ahead and get down and I can go over and see those guys real quick because uh, they're not gonna be here for very long. So we're gonna pack up and then uh, Ty and I will make a plan I don't think we're gonna be out this afternoon, but potentially out tomorrow morning. And uh, we're gonna to continue to keep after it here in the coming weeks. You know, we, it doesn't feel like Ty and I have seen a lot of really good rut activity at this point in time, but uh, that doesn't mean we haven't been successful and we've had some really good hunts. So appreciate you guys tagging along this morning and uh, I anticipate here in the next couple of days, we'll be back in a tree. <laughs> 